will be right back. Please take over. So this that was button check. This is winners finals sitting down. Silent Wolf versus Blade Wise. Classic matchup. Um, I mean, I think Otto's gonna take this again. Teddy's been playing pretty well, pretty on his game. Yeah. Um, but oh man, I, the matchups it's hard to say. Pretty uh, you know, easier for Peach in this game, but it is. You know, it's still Otto. It and is it's still Fox. You know. Yeah. I mean, Fox definitely got his nerfs. Uh, Peach got her buffs. And, I mean, you kind of got to work around it, so it's not going to be quite as consistent as melee between these two. But, um, it, I mean, there are still three O's. There are three O's from Otto on, on Bladewise, and there's yeah, still games yeah, that no, Bladewise still, sets that Bladewise takes off. They st it's still Otto, yeah. you know? It's still Otto. still mostly Otto. And we I, still just have to expect Otto to win. It's true. Well, I mean, uh, you know, give everyone that fair chance. Yeah, man. Fair I chance. know you're, you're, obsessed, anyone out. you're obsessed with that. that <laughs> I am absolutely business. obsessed with that. Thing. I think I've seen. Some I think the, the, the end of every game is known before it even begins. <sighs> well, I mean, we can't all. It makes it makes it more exciting when it actually does not be this what you expect. To exactly. Happen. That's why I try and expect that every time. So I'm hyped about every moment there. until you're like four stocks down and doing terrible. No! Oh, actually. Catching him with that turn up. Oh if Otto goodness. came back because of that, that would be amazing. Very hilarious. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna step off now. I'm really quick and grab something to drink, and I will be right back. Okay. Rando up smash. Well, not Rando. You know, dash, dash dancing. Still, not a great up smash. Just gotta clean this stock out. If anyone knows how to kill Peach off stage, it's Otto Bizno. Auto, I only know the Peach matchup is now. Up. There. Nothing, nothing. We're just, we're just watching, watching this happen. Back air. Nope, not number back air. There's more powerful. If you got in reverse, that box will work out. But. Oh, he should have done the 30 winner. Nonsense. He should have done the tourney winner nonsense. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm back. I was I was just yelling at Teddy even though I was trying to the commentator stand there. He's doing good right now. He's doing really, really good. He's putting the pressure on. Um, he almost had that edge guard earlier. He managed to get a little bit oh, later. Oh, oh. That was gorgeous. Such smart movement right there. Something you see a lot of Teddy in this matchup is that, like, so Oh, oh my God. God, can we yeah, roll that really back? Is. Did that just happen? You that have to let you on. That was oh absolutely silly. Um, anyway, one thing you'll see a lot from Teddy in this matchup is those like suicidal edge guards, where you just kind of like throw your nair into it. If you like puts the, her whole peach into it, mm -hmm. and you know sometimes it works out. Uh, yeah, definitely. most times really, you know. But you want that for the most part because we saw we saw it in, we saw it in melee. Um, I believe in the grand finals where it might, might have been the winners finals where it yeah. uh, ended up saving Otto and then Teddy died. Yeah, unfortunately. But generally, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. For the most part, you definitely want to get in Fox's face when he is off stage and just hit him. And just keep hitting him with stuff. And I, had, I, while commentating for Teddy and watching these matches, I was definitely screaming that the whole time and just, just go in. Go in there. Take the hit. Up air, go back. Back air. All right, now, now this is Bladewise pick. No, 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 no. it would have been Otto. Yeah, this he is just, he just wants more space. Nice. Than Otto. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. He tossed a sock there, unfortunately, but that's what I'm talking about. You just gotta get in Fox's face. He is so vulnerable when he is starting his recovery. If you can just interrupt it, God, you can you can get those kills really early. Yeah, that's really what you need to do there. Okay, so this is this is Otto's pick. So is this because he has more space to move around? He has more interesting platforms to work with here, or it's mostly just a space to work around. I'm sure. Okay. I know. Like, I don't know if a lot of people are going to consider the platform thing as like an actual. I don't know. Well, now the reason I say that is um, he he can use the platforms to escape Peach's grab. So in a lot of situations, he can kind of set himself up uh, on the right side of the stage, I'd say right here, and kind of camp underneath that and run away from grab. Just kind of move him. Yeah, a lot and of that. That that kind of mobility really helps him out because I. Peach, as I say with Peach, uh, she has great control oh, wow. of the small wait, space wait, around her. That was beautiful. Yeah, wow. Jeez. Um, she has great control Punish. of the space around her. So the further away or the better you can space her. It's yeah, just, the less like, percentage that the space around her actually inhabits of the stage, yes. you know, that's going to be better Very for useful. a fast character Very like useful. Fox. Yeah. You kind of want to play against Peach like you play against Bowser. Like, 
You don't really want to approach her. You want to make her approach you. Wow, good work on that, Otto. Just to yeah, that was real clean quick. shine to finish him off. Mm. Mm, brutal. Brutal. All right, so we're on to game three now. Teddy's gonna pick stage here. I'm hoping, hoping that Otto. I'm actually gonna grab a Gatorade too. Right. I, want, I want some. Brendan. Okay, Otto didn't do it. He's not getting rid of Final D. But, however, okay, I remember earlier in the tournament, or, uh, no, I'm sorry, that was Melee that they were playing on FD. And I, it didn't matter. Otto still absolutely beat him. Uh, even though Peach has those crazy chain grabs that she can do on that stage. I have no idea. Four bands. Okay. All right. Teddy has taken it to final D. He's, uh, I'm, I'm sure what he's really hoping for is one, um, Otto doesn't, yeah, chain grab is definitely the first thing, Brent. Uh, chain grab is definitely the first thing that comes to mind when he's picking this stage. Is his I feel grab. like Teddy isn't particularly good at it. It's kind of true. I don't see him pulling it off too often. But when he does, that's right there. And it's it might be game. He's really got to make sure that he, Oh, man, how did that grab work out? Yeah, He's that really got to make sure that he, that he gets that punish. And uh, Otto being smart, just going straight for the, the edge because he be knows not that that's basically where it's going to uh, No, I suppose he, he did a forward throw is what it was. Yeah. I, I, yeah. yeah. If he did another up there, he probably would have gone left. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I don't know. Well, yeah. All he, okay, so yeah, there it was. Blade-wise, all he needed was two grabs, and that was basically the whole stock. So as long as he gets those grabs, he's going to do just fine. But Otto definitely has the advantage of uh, if he gets one shine off on stage, ooh, can he that go? That been something. Yeah, it definitely could have been something. Teddy's got to got to get that consistent, devastating edge guard down. And then when he Grab does that, that ledge, yeah, Peach. You got to get out of there, Peach. It's true. Can't get shot. Now, all of Peach's like, ledge options that she gains from you know the PM mechanics, mm -hmm. they kind of go away once she's above 100%. No, I know, but she can, she can cover edge really, really. No, well. no, and I'm not, yeah. I'm not saying. Okay. But I'm, I'm saying okay. like they're all just like a lot worse. Yeah, once she's above 100. percent It's true. It's very true. For I mean, that's that's generally the thing for most characters. I yeah, actually but find Falco players like it because then their roll up from ledge is what like 106 frames. So ledge guarded characters like Marth is no problem anymore. So turning winter flows is a lot worse it's, once you're above 100. Absolutely. Like Bowser loses his, uh, oh, he's his turn, turning winner, turning winner wave dash along yeah. with his get up attack team. Yeah, you know, he, he loses all good. of his options. And I'm constantly watching my percentage. The moment I start seeing three digits, I'm like, oh, well, all right, I'm down my and kill myself yeah. because it's not even worth living anymore. Pretty much the life of a Bowser. All right, well here's another change grab. Teddy's pulling it off. Reverse snare, right. good. Yeah. Looks like he ended up messing up the DI because of the reverse. Yeah. And there was Teddy, once again, uh, just kind of let Fox get back. I know Fox has lots of options, but uh, as I keep saying, you got to be aggressive. you got to yeah. get in his face. And uh, Teddy is kind of the player that plays it safe once he, once he kind of knows to switch between the two, I think. And he's got to be comfortable around Otto, too. I mean, this is a really rough matchup. He, you know, he's comfortable around Otto, I'm sure, but he also ends up going on tilt a lot against him just because, you know, it's his demon, more or less. It's true. It's, it's true. the guy he loses to, like, in Every two time. different games, yeah. like multiple times a week uh, sometimes. Yeah. You can only bow to your sensei so often before you want him to bow to you yeah. once or twice, you know. Oh, man. Nice control. All right. Simon Wolf bringing it all the way back. It was definitely looking like it was a Blade Wise's, Blade Wise's favor on this one, but I was pulling it back here. Some nice up throws and reading his aerial movement. Oh, wow. That could have been something. Yeah, it would have that, been that, grounded that, shine. That been it it yeah. would have been grounded shine, too. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and I don't remember exactly the difference between Grounded the two, shine but... is the same as it is in Melee. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Aerial shine actually has knockback growth oh. and lower base knockback. Okay. And I believe the angle in aerial shine might actually be different as well. Okay. Another Very chain grab. This, this is probably going to be it right here. I don't know why Otto did not go off stage at that point. It, it might have been bad for the Nair, but... <laughs> Well, he took an air from middle stage instead of an air from you know, edge of stage. But I don't know if the percent difference ends up changing it, but Peach can't get into as good of a position to edge guard. Yeah. And that should be it right there. The no. He's going to... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. There it is. Little, Teddy little wave quickly scoop. getting onto the ledge. Little wave scoop. Yeah. Yeah. Little scoop. Little sneak. Sneak, as I like to call it. All right, so we're going on to game four now. And this will be Silent Wolf picking the level. 
Where do you think he's gonna take him? Battlefield. Good Classic. Three, yeah. Two, one. Good guess. Good guess. Yeah, man, he really put my all into it. Yeah. Really uh, getting in their heads there. All right, so this is generally, uh, I mean, I say it every single time, so uh, they're, they're establishing their basic stage control. She, uh, Peach is going to be in the center, going for everything that she can, trying to get those grabs. And Fox is generally going to be between or under these two platforms here, trying to control that space. Forward. Auto coming out strong. Teddy doing just fine, though. Throwing out his own stuff. Starting to catch up. Yeah, pretty easy for that Fox stock to get away, though. Yeah, that's up. Right. Nice. Taking some in. great conversions here. Popping out that man. Oh, wow. Tries to cheat him with the down smash. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like Otto's the kind of player who, even if you get him with that down smash, he's going to take it. Yeah, he's going to tech off stage. He's, he's so good at that, for the most part. For the most part, I say, because uh, I can't even He's going to end up here, missing yeah. attack or something yeah, soon. True. Ooh, Otto missing his opportunity to go in there and get that edge guard. Doesn't matter, though. He comes back out. He's just fine. Finishes off. Throwing right nares all over the place. Eventually, one will land. Yeah. Just keep hitting that shield. Just keep flying through him. Bunk. Throwing out that turn up. He's got to get to the ledge. Yeah, there yeah. he goes. There he goes. Dude, just fine. Not much else Otto could have done there. Yeah, really. Uh, hope that Teddy hit him and prepared for like a ledge tag. That's basically it. Oh, oh that what happened? Been, that could have been what he and, wanted. And, and, yeah, Teddy physically showing that like what what happened? Mm -hmm. Definitely flubbing up on his controls. Back. Interesting choice. Up. Four tilt. Oh, nice four wow. tilt. Or, sorry, up tilt. Four tilt. Four tilt. Okay. Up tilt. No, no, no. I know. I'm, I'm kidding. Or, you know, I guess it's yeah. hard to. Who, who was saying that? Chevy was saying that like Peach's four tilt is just an up tilt. You know, Pretty much. It's just the reverse fox up tilt. Yeah. That sounds like something Chevy would say yeah, because absolutely. it's true, and Chevy is a truth teller. It's true. It is true that truth of him telling the truth. Nice forward throw, I'm trying to get him with uh, dash attack to up smash. I'm sure. This is dangerous, and Teddy knows it. He does not like being right there on that. They'll player. do a lot of just stare downs with Peach, like very oh, near. I love that. Yeah, I love the super patience. Oh yeah, he's done. He had to air dodge that every single. I wonder if he could have lived if he died that right. Uh, possibly. I, I mean, uh, Peach is too light. Is that like what 80 something percent? Is that 104 by the end of it? But yeah. So uh, either high 80s or. Oh um, no! Yeah. Pineapple got 17 percent. Very unfortunate. All right, auto running across stage doing a lot of crazy fox things right now. He's throwing out a lot of nares, just kind of popping it out in that space. I mean, that's the normal fox thing to do, but yeah, I haven't really seen him doing that earlier in the match. He's kind of trying to now a little bit more because he's feeling the space out. He knows that Teddy keeps shielding it, and he's able to get away with it a lot, just jumping right on through. Ooh, nice run-up jab. I love that stuff. Now he's just popping out that jab. Oof. I'm throwing the down smash. Interesting. Up air. Oh, he almost got oh. something real dirty right there. Oh, yeah. A nice little up air would have popped him into a, oh, my God. Oh, what, like, another up air? Yeah, you could just start chaining those up airs like crazy. Ah, uh, just baiting out the grab and punches him with an up smash. All right, well, we're going to game five of this set. Winners finals. Mission complete. Not yet, Fox. Now, we got another game. Now, Bladewise is actually going to be able to pick stage on this, so this is going to get really interesting. Um, he could... What do, you, what do you think Otto's going to ban here? I really think he should ban well, Whatever he banned before, probably. Okay. Uh, I think it would... All right. He's leaving FD open. Well, I mean, still. there's also, like, DSR still for FD. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, he won on FD, so he can't take it back. Yeah. Okay. Doom land. That's pretty classic. Right. Yeah, lasers. Okay, so Peach is basically going to live forever in this situation. I This is a really good Peach level, in my opinion. Um... Peach's survivability is great. She can kind of hover under that pineapple, and it's kind of within enough space so that even if you're under the pineapple, you know that if you space your up D correctly, you can grab. And it's definitely a good peach stage, yeah. but I've seen enough, you know, auto killing Teddy here to know that, you know. It's not everything. It's also got very high ceilings, um, so Otto's going to have a lot more trouble killing him off the top. That was totally an opportunity to just fall into the back end there, even with the trade. He totally had him. He uh, ends up finishing him off still, but 
I see all these opportunities, Teddy. I see them. I see opportunities for me to get messed up by Auto in Losers Finals. It's true. That's what I'm seeing right now. Yeah. You, see you know, it's been like months and months that I've played Teddy. I want that to happen. Yeah. So I hope he loses. Dude, we still haven't played together in tournament again. We had, what, two matches in tournament? I don't even remember. It was so long ago. Yeah. It's been a while now. Yeah. But it just so happens I see apples literally every single time I'm at this tournament. Craziness. Some nice trades going back and forth here. Uh, Bladewise establishing percentage dominance, at least for a second. And that then was, auto takes that was him right good. across stage. That could be some nice yeah. Oh, no, he messed that up. He's using 4B to get by. I actually thought he was a little bit too low on that one. Yeah. You know what's funny? If you play against uh, Fox or Falco AI, they will every time do like the lowest side B they can. Mm -hmm. And every time I'm like, that's too low, you died. And then they come back. Yeah, and so. then they snatch it, yeah. Have you ever seen like. Level 9 Fox, Level 9 Falco, uh, AI fight. Each other? Yeah. Or, I mean... Like, like on a, like a small stage when they don't just get into the laser loop. <laughs> um, like, I've seen them do some nutty stuff. Like, there was, uh, there was... Falco started doing, like, the Duraki wall jump side B. Just, like, Duraki sick. wall jump side B? He just, like, he would, like, has ledge, drops, wall jump side B, just that whole loop. Oh, I see. Okay. Loop. And he just did that, like... Oh, that's a stall, okay. He just did that, like, nine times for no reason, and then, like... Ledge dashed to get and like do it like the highest tier technical yeah. stuff. I there's love an exchange the, I love they the had there's, combos that they there's do. an exchange off stage where like there were like seven shines and there were like a million techs and they just like did this thing. I don't know. We had a whole, we went to Black Wolf uh, once a while back and we ended up doing a lot of uh, AI cockfights. Oh my god, that would be so much. I lost, I lost like five bucks. Oh man, it, well I mean like I bet on art and you know what happened yeah. and this is an entirely true story. Mm -hmm. Fox broke. What do you mean? Fuck the AI broke. He just started holding his shield. I don't know why. We, he just started oh, holding his shield and his shield broke. And is then that because okay, so I know you can actually do this. Uh, something like have a control. controller in. I don't yeah. think I don't think that was it. I know we checked that. Breaking the cockfight, man. No, uh, it didn't it matter. It didn't matter because Marv is terrible. Uh, okay. You know what Mark did for he had a, he had a stock disadvantage. You know what Mark did for seven minutes? Jabbed outside of range. <laughs> and just jab, <laughs> broken shield fox, not even hitting him, outside of shield range, for seven minutes. I watched this happen. The entire time, I had money on that mark. I was screaming at him, and he didn't ever change his strategy. That is absolute crazy. It's like jab, 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 oh out of range forward God. smash, out of range forward smash, jab, 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 jab. jab. Nothing. I nothing. I got I nothing from it. it. So much. It was awful. So it was absolutely terrible. That's exactly how I'd play Marth, too. It's just like, oh, this is outside of range. Perfect. Keep this up. Wow, okay, so this is last stock, last game. Sorry, I can't so. Oh, he gets a forward air! Oh, that forward air second hit is <laughs> auto up smash. Auto, auto forward air. Auto forward air is auto forward air is more it's like any other fox, real. and it's, it's very real. very effective. Chevy was actually saying that he's like, this is my favorite fox because he forward air so much. What was I even saying? I can't remember. Uh, uh, so right, Mama Juice, right. Uh, yeah, so our first match, Bowser v Ivysaur. He hit me once. The whole game. The first whole game, I had 14%. Uh, 